Hi there! In this lesson, we will get to know how unique the carbon atom is. The structural formulas of carbon and other atoms will show you the exact way of connecting them to each other using a short straight line known as a bond. We will discuss how the structure of the carbon atom affects the types of bonds it forms. Single bond, double bond, and triple bond. Carbon is the same element present in all living things and some non-living things such as paper, coal, and diamond. Carbon forms organic compounds with many other atoms like hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and halogens, which can form complex structures. The compounds which contain carbon combined with hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen, and few other elements are usually called organic compounds. Organic compounds have low thermal stability, usually decompose, easily char and burn when heated. Thus, organic compounds have lower melting points and boiling points due to its weaker bonds which are covalent bonds. Salt is classified as an inorganic compound that has a higher melting point compared to sugar. Sugar easily melts in the presence of flame or fire and eventually changes its color to black. This is an evidence that an organic compound has a weaker bond and its chemical properties change like its color, odor, and taste. The only distinguishable characteristic of organic compounds is that they all contain the element carbon. Carbon is the most common element present in all biodegradable materials. It has a unique ability to bond elements together and form long chains and rings. The ground state electron configuration of an atom is a description of the orbitals that the atom's electrons occupy. The carbon atom with electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p2 has four electrons in its valence shell or outer shell, while hydrogen with electron configuration of 1s1 has one valence electron. Gilbert Lewis, an American physical chemist, discovered the covalent bond and his concept of electron pairs. The Lewis dot structures and other contributions to the valence bond theory have shaped modern theories of chemical bonding. Carbon bonds to other atoms, not by losing nor gaining, but by sharing its electrons. The four valence electrons of carbon represent the four dots of carbon in its Lewis dot structure. For a hydrogen atom, its valence electron is represented by one dot. According to the octet rule, a stable molecule results when the valence shell of eight electrons has been achieved for all atoms in a molecule. For carbon to be stable, having four valence electrons, it needs four more. Four atoms of hydrogen can form four covalent bonds with carbon. Bonds are usually represented by a short straight line connecting the atoms, with each bond representing a shared pair of electrons. Electron sharing occurs when two atoms approach and their atomic orbitals overlap. Bonds that have circular cross-sections and are formed by head-on overlap of atomic orbitals are called sigma bonds. Bonds formed by sideways overlap of p orbitals are called pi bonds. The simplest and most commonly encountered class of organic compounds are the hydrocarbons. The structures of hydrocarbons affect their properties, such as their physical state and boiling point. There are two types of hydrocarbons, saturated and unsaturated. Saturated hydrocarbons are called alkanes. Unsaturated hydrocarbons are further classified into alkenes and alkynes. 
The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry has established rules in order to systematize the naming of hydrocarbon molecules. First is to determine the type of bond it has. Next, determine which type of carbon compound it is, whether it is a saturated or unsaturated hydrocarbon. Saturated hydrocarbons are called alkanes. To name alkanes, it will have the suffix "-ain". Unsaturated hydrocarbons are further classified as alkene or alkyne. Alkenes will be named with the suffix "-ain", while alkynes will be named with the suffix "-ain". In naming, we also determine the number of carbon atoms in the compound and look for the equivalent prefix. Now let's combine the two concepts for naming so far. For example, you have determined the number of carbon atoms, which is 2, and it is an alkane. Thus, the hydrocarbon will be called ethane. An alkene with three carbon atoms will be called propene. Lastly, an alkyne with four carbon atoms will be called butyne. Alkanes whose general formula CnH2n plus 2, also known as paraffins, meaning low affinity, are hydrocarbons that contain only single bonds. They are classified as saturated hydrocarbons with all carbon atoms linked by single bonds. Therefore, for an alkane with four carbon atoms, the formula would be C4H10. This is called butane. Butane is used in various applications including LPG in commercial and residential, chemical, refinery, industrial, petrochemical, and autofuel sectors. This table will show you the hydrocarbons' names and their corresponding molecular structure, expanded and condensed structural formulas, which are very important in understanding their individual makeup and differences. You can pause the video and study it thoroughly first. Now let's discuss the unsaturated hydrocarbons, the alkenes and alkynes. Alkenes, also called olefins, are unsaturated hydrocarbons containing one or more double bonds. As a result, they contain less hydrogen atoms bonded to the carbon atoms and follow the general formula CnH2n. In an alkene, the formula of a 3-carbon atom with one double bond would be C3H6. This hydrocarbon is called propene. In industry and workshops, propene is used as an alternative fuel to acetylene in oxy-fuel welding and cutting, brazing, and heating of metal for the purpose of bending. Lastly, we have the alkynes. Alkynes contain one or more triple bonds. They have the general formula of CnH2n-2. The simplest alkyne, ethyne, is a highly reactive molecule used in oxyacetylene torches. The molecular structure would be C2H2. Now let's wrap things up. All organic compounds contain the element carbon. Carbon is the most common element present in all living things. The carbon atom is a unique kind of element that has four valence electrons, which enables it to form four covalent bonds with atoms of other elements and other carbon atoms. There are two types of hydrocarbons, saturated and unsaturated. Saturated hydrocarbons are called alkanes. Alkanes contain only a single bond and have the suffix "-ane". Unsaturated hydrocarbons are further classified into alkenes and 
alkynes. Alkenes contain one or more double bonds and have the suffix "-ene". Lastly, alkynes contain one or more triple bonds and have the suffix "-ein". That's all for now. We will be discussing about general classes and uses of organic compounds in our next video, so stay tuned. See you on our next video and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.